Mishke. Did you ever think about what's going to happen to you after you die? Now, I'm not talking about heaven or hell or anything like that. I'm talking about the send-off that you want, the reception that you're going to have. What kind of music is going to be played there? What kind of a coffin is it going to be? Are you going to be buried or are you going to be cremated? And are drums going to be part of that at all? Well, check out what this drummer did. This is Bonnie Brent. Bonnie Brent was a Toronto drummer that died recently at the age of 73. Now, instead of having his remains laid out in a coffin, for the viewing, the family decided to pose the body behind a drum kit. Laid out in a yellow tracksuit and a white hat, the family decided that this was the proper send-off that Bonnie deserved because of his love of music. May I say at this point, from one drummer to another, Bonnie, I salute you, may you rest in peace, and condolences to your friends and family. But there's one thing that I definitely do know, Bonnie would be spinning in his grave if he saw the layout of that drum kit. Just look at the size of that hi-hat. It's ridiculously too high and it's on the wrong side and that's the same for the snare drum. And look at those flat toms. That drum kit is virtually unplayable. So guys, what do you think about this? Do you think it's a nice thing to do? Do you think it's the wrong thing to do? Do you think it's the most bizarre thing you've ever seen? Let me know down in the comments section. Make sure you hit a like on this video and I'll see you next week. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.